Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. And it's Andy Tesharoto. Today, I'm going to be covering the event calendar of May, as well as two characters that are going to be updated in May of 20, 2019. Sorry, <laughs> I was going back two years. Yeah, that was something different. So, first I want to cover the event calendar and the login reward. IG100 Magnet Guard is a login reward. Kind of wish it was B1 or B2 or Mag uh, Droidica. I, w I wish I'd go back to, you know, having the, every now and then having a newer character being a log and reward. What is wrong with that? Like, chopper, you know, and, and you don't even have to have, you can have a, mar instead of having a marquee character for a two-star or three-star character, just throw them in as a log and reward. Boom, done. A new way to farm new characters early on. You get the new, as long as you log in through that month, you'll get that character. At least to three-star, you know, something like that. But anyways, Magna Guard. Um, and I'm just going to skim through. Um, there's no... There's a special event. Oh, Ghost of Dathomir. It's both bounty hunter ones. Oh, I hate that they skip over those. But this is, you know, all dates are subject to change. I assume also the territory battles will be changing because it sounds like we're going to be getting uh, the Geonosian, Geonosian map this month. So we'll have to see. Especially since we have two Separatist characters that are going to be reworked. And I'll get to that. But just legendary-wise, we're going to have the Emperor, uh, Grant, uh, Thrawn's ship, um, let's see, and Padme's ship. Or, not Padme. Sorry, Padme Padme herself. Uh, Ardeus legendary? What the heck does that mean? Huh. But anyways, yeah, aggressive negotiations. So, yeah, we're beginning a couple of legendary events this month. I just don't see... Grandmasters, yeah, Yoda. So yeah, these are the you know the characters thus far. Um, but yeah, let's get into updates on recent characters. As we near May fourth and our Clone Wars arc is swinging into full effect, I want to follow up on some of the month's events in the effort to continue all the different channels of communication in between Big Road Ahead be beats. To begin with, it's been a few weeks since the release of Darth Malak. And Jedi and Anakin uh, rework. Darth Malak was and remains a very difficult event. The intention was to create a long-term char chase character outside of fixed rate events like raids and territory battles. Many people went after Darth Malak right away, and 880, 882 players got Darth Malak on his first go around who have never spent a single cent in this game. So that is huge. So that means people are... They must have just saved up crystals galore. So, like, during the marquee months, they just save up crystals. They don't spend crystals at all. And they save up so that when they do um, farm certain characters for certain events, that's just what they do. They spend it all on the refreshes on those characters and then the gear for those characters. That's huge. That's huge. I met, oh, anyways, as well as they probably also use uh, spend them on... Uh, the uh, when they come into the shipments and stuff, I imagine it's definitely be more challenging for them than those who had. But as we were told by many players in Star Wars Celebration, they read the tea leaves, anticipate what was coming, and made specific choices about how to invest their resources. So, so basically, what I was basically saying. I resent resents a balance in the game that we want to continue to facilitate. Jenna Anakin and the tune-ups to Kenobi and Ahsoka reflect a different type of release where old characters were updated to a current state of the game finding. And some of those people probably already had these guys maxed out. I Only General Kenobi's maxed out for me. And I'm not getting a real benefit from it because I don't have a <laughs> Galactic Republic team for Zeta. So he's just still just useful as is under a Revan team. Finding where Anakin sits both with the tune-ups and where he will sit at the release of Padme is an ongoing balance act that we <clears throat> will monitor over time. As Eric mentioned in his post last week, we are constantly evaluating those changes or these releases. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, and, and so on. So they're just talking about the balances of that. I'm going to not fully read all this because I kind of want to get to the two characters I want to talk about. Um... So, yeah, these are just talking about Jenna Anakin. Uh, let's see, where is... I 
Okay, I'm sorry. As oh, here it is. So it's the number two. We while we don't intend to pre-release info about all characters' events, we'd like to dial back on the feeling that you have no idea what's coming. To that end, we wanted to let you know that later in May, we are going to be releasing reworks for Count Dooku and Nuke Gunray as part of the lead-up to the Dark Side Geonosis Territory Battle. Because this, uh, this time around, they're going to go dark than light. Instead of light dark, it's dark than light. These characters are meant to fit into a territory into the territory battle specifically, and Nuke Gunray is getting a specific significance rework that we will sh share closer to his rework and may result in some manner of refund or uh, for current investments. So he probably will get possibly a gear and or a, um, a ability refund. So if you've worked on them for like those random Night Sister Zombie and Spirit or not Spirit, uh, Night Sister Acolyte combos with even Leia and whatnot, yeah, you'll be getting a refund. Will they be getting rid of the stealth on his leadership? I don't know. But I'm going to go over to Newt Gunray really quick. This is what his kit looks like right now. He doesn't have a... So we might get a Zeta leadership, which would be good. Newt Gunray was, you know, a pretty, you know, significant leader to the Trade Federation, as well as later in the game, or later in the story to uh, the Separatist Alliance. So will we get some something like that? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, stealth allies. So let's see. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 70% chance to gain stealth for one turn. I don't know if they'll keep that. They might. Uh, it would be kind of nice to see. You know, cowardly shot. He was kind of a cowardly kind of character too. So yeah, he, he definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I don't know what they'll do with them, to be honest. I have no idea what they do. I just kind of hope they... Even though I don't use the stealth ability, it'd be kind of cool to still have like a catch-all ability. And then after that, the Zeta, um, or maybe the Zeta, you know, adds all this in or something. But the leader also adds some sort of separatist synergy. Because he deserves it, for sure. <clears throat> so, and then, you know, Nuke Gunray has 4% defense for each living ally and 65% crit chance while stealthed. So, yeah, he crits a lot when he's stealthed. That doesn't work against Padme. That's one th for sure thing. <laughs> if you've seen my Padme uh, uh, rework. Uh, or not rework, but kit reveal. So, video. Uh, but, yeah, going on to it, though. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know what they'll do with new gun raid. So, I'm sure not just the gear refunds will happen, but he'll probably have, you know, a refund of all this. So, next I want to talk about Count Dooku. He is more exciting. I have him worked up to gear 10. So he's a lot better off. And you do usually see him on Grand Arena and Territory Wars under Darth Treya team. Uh, sometimes you do see him on Darth Nihilus because he heals himself like crazy. Uh, when he counters, he has 5% health still. That's kind of sad. He probably will get more. I don't know. So his basic deals physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to attack again. Who knows? Maybe that chance will go up to 65. I don't know. Uh, these tech have 25% chance to stun for one turn and 25% chance to ability block for one turn. Debuff chances doubled against Jedi. And this attack can't be countered. Ooh, that's huge. Being able to not counter it is basic. Oh, it tells him he's, he's really good. Um, I do want to say, I want to skip down to this really quick. I want to see his uh, Zated ability turned into, uh, the name of it at least, turned into Makashi. Because he's a Makashi master. Uh, the form form 2 Makashi. I think I'm saying it right. Yeah, for some reason in my head it sounds weird. But um, it's the fencing style of lightsaber dueling. So hopefully that. Anyway, so Force Lightning deals special damage target enemy with a 50% chance to shock and stun them for one turn. And a 50% chance to stun a random enemy. Too bad it wasn't stun and shock. Debuff chances doubled against Jedi. So Jedi teams, you know, fear the Force Lightning. Um, I would not mind because of how unique of a character he is, and I only see ever one version of this character, unless they go deep eventually in their five years, this five-year plan, and we get to see a... Um, and they turn this one into Darth Tyrannus, and then Count Dooku is... 
the Jedi ver you get the Jedi version, which is Count Dooku. I don't I don't know how they would play that because he is uh, Dooku of Seren Count Dooku of Sereno. So, but anyways, um, so I'm sure this this ability would change. But like I said, he's as a unique character. I don't see him making another appearance in this game. So giving him a third or another ability to use against the enemy would make sense. How they would do it, I don't know. Just some cool lightsaber ability or some way to like buff him up, buff himself up for one turn or two turns or something kind of similar to CLS where he goes kind of offensive defensive a little bit I, I don't know maybe his offense defense means you know he takes some of his counter chance and uh, gives more offense or something I don't know um this leadership definitely needs a huge re overhaul so we'll have to see what they'll do with that uh, so I don't think he'll have that anymore. But Master Technician, I would love to... One thing I would love to see about this ability is give it Separatist allies have 50% counter chance. Give him a counter chance leadership. I feel like he deserves it. He's really good at figuring things out. Like when um, Obi-Wan Kenobi disguised himself as a bounty hunter, uh, he, you know, he Count Dooku kind of figured out that. And so... You know, they thought they had won, but he countered back by himself against Anakin, eventually Obi-Wan, and Palpatine. Even though at that time it was kind of the ruse and plan to try to capture Palpatine the first time. And it failed. Or one of the times at least. So, I can easily see his leadership being a counter chance leadership instead of evasion leadership. Just a counter chance. Maybe keep the, he, this, this ability in. And then just say Separatist Allies, maybe Sith, but they'll probably just keep it Separatist Allies. Separatist allies have, you know, maybe the, the normal of uh, Gar Saxon and uh, CLS being, you know, 50% counter chance, 40% defense, and something else added in. And leave it at that, you know, Separatist being able to counter. Imagine Grievous countering all the time. Imagine, imagine Droidica countering all the time. He is so slow, he's never gonna, hardly ever going to take a turn, so you throw a lot of a tenacity offense set on him high tenacity, high offense on everything else, and just watch him go to town, you know? AoE, Droidica's attacking back. AoE, Droidica's attacking back with that pure defense. So I would love to see that. So um, going on with his, uh, the, like I said, you know, name change, but Count Dooku has 100% counter chance. In addition, whenever he attacks outside of his turn, he deals 30% more damage and has 25% chance to gain 45% turn meter. Recovers 10% protection and gains crit and hit immunity for one turn. I forgot that this was uh, shut down by Darth Malak. Hmm. But anyways, um, they'll probably take the turn meter away, which is crappy. So instead, just give him 45% tenacity. So he, you know, Or just make him immune to daze. That would be kind of cool. And annoying at the same time. Can't shut him down unless you fracture him. <laughs> fracture or isolate him or something. I don't know. Um... He recovers 10% protection and gains crit immunity for one turn. Crit hit immunity for one turn. That's, that's good. Maybe, but one thing Count Dooku tends to be is a bit squishy, so maybe giving him, like, 15% uh, health and protection, because he's more of an, uh, he is, no, he's a support. Why is he a support? I see him more of an attacker. But if he's a support, fine. We'll, we'll go with it. He's a, a, a Sith support. Yeah, maybe, maybe he would be, but... You know, give him some more health and protection, like, you know, 15 to 25% max health and protection, or like 15% max protection and 25% max health, just to give him some recovery, or some more, you know, get him out of being super squishy, because uh, look, at, look at this, 28,000 health, knock it up, like five, you know, 5,000, that'd be great, um, and then maybe give him some more health still, you know, 15% health still, or something. Or maybe, you know, even throw that into the leadership would be kind of nice, too. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Count Dooku and Newt Gunray. Well, obviously, not much thoughts on Newt Gunray, but I just wanted to cover the fact Newt Gunray does have a Zeta going, ready to go. They'll probably rework this to be a Zeta. He'll probably get another ability. He'll probably just have a basic uh, blaster ability and two, like, uh, unique abilities. Or maybe just keep the one unique ability, and that's kind of like a buff to Separatists or you know, a debuff to opponents, kind of like uh, Tarkin's one debuff is debuff the, all the enemies with these debuffs, and then that's all he does. Who knows? 
But other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the reworks for Count Dooku and Grievous? What will they do with them? What won't they do with them? Come on, throw your predictions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those watch the videos I make. And you guys have a phenomenal day. Thank <laughs> you.